Hello everyone, so in today's video I'll be showing you how to create a Raspberry Pi HDMI plug and play controller. The first step is to take apart a USB gamepad controller and find the best place to put the Pi. I believe this little bump here is in place to ensure the circuit board doesn't bend but since we will be placing the Pi there, it will need to be removed. Next, grab an HDMI to mini HDMI cable and plug it into the Pi. Then you'll want to cut a hole for the HDMI cable into the housing. First, remove the cable from the controller, then strip down a USB cable and connect the power and data lines to the gamepad like so. Then you need to connect those wires back to the Raspberry Pi Zero. Next you're going to want to put the SD card with RetroPie into your Pi Zero and hot glue your Raspberry Pi in place. I'll show you how to get RetroPie onto your SD card in just a minute. Next, add a couple dabs of hot glue to temporarily secure the circuit board to the housing. Next, add wires to the positive and negative leads of the gamepad or the Raspberry Pi and connect the other ends of those wires to a USB cable. Keep in mind that these wires will have to be pretty long in order to reach the end of the HDMI cable. Next you'll need to use electrical tape to secure the HDMI cable to the power lines. To finish this project, it's as simple as screwing the case back together. Now I'm going to show you how you can install RetroPie onto the Pi Zero. First, go to the RetroPie website, hit download, and then click on this to download RetroPie for your Pi Zero. Next, extract the file with your preferred file extractor. I'm using 7-zip. Plug your SD card into your computer, open up Win32 Disk Imager, select your device and the file you are using, and hit Write. When that's finally done, plug your SD card into your Pi and set up the Wi-Fi. Now that we have RetroPie installed and we set up the Wi-Fi, I can show you how to add games. Simply go on your computer, go to the Quick Access tab, and type backslash backslash RetroPie. Then you should have access to your Pi. If nothing shows up or you get an error message, then first you should make sure that the computer you're using is on the same network that your Pi is on. Then either retype in backslash backslash RetroPie or type in backslash backslash then the IP address of your Pi. The IP address can be found in the Wi-Fi configuration for RetroPie. Once you've got it working, download some game ROMs from your desired website, extract the files, and drag your games to the correct folders in the ROM section of your Pi. When they finish transferring, restart your Pi and all of your games should show up. Overall, this was a really fun build and it only took me a few hours to complete. I think that if I made a version 2 of this, I would implement a battery. That way, all you'd have to do is flip a switch, plug your HDMI cable into your TV, and you're set. Let me know if that's something you guys would like to see. I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, please consider dropping a like and sharing it with someone you think might enjoy it. If you have any questions or comments, make sure to leave them below. Thanks for watching. Adios.